Hey, you see that camper right there? We're gonna give you a tour of it in just a second. But first, an intro video. All right, so we just spent the night uh, camping in some dispersed camping in Buena Vista, Colorado, um, out here in the Rocky Mountains. And so I thought this would just be a good time to give you all a walkthrough of the camper behind me. Uh, before we dive in, I think this would be a good time to just uh, give a quick overview of what the camper is and what the setup is. So behind me is an Outfitter Manufacturing slide-in pop-up truck bed camper. Um, Outfitter Manufacturing is a company based out of Longmont and they custom built this camper for my Ford F-150. Um, it's a 2013 with the uh, V6 EcoBoost engine. Um, and because this is a super uh, fairly light camper, um, it's actually fits really well in just an F-150. You don't need any crazy super duty trucks. Uh, so that's been working well, but we're loving this camper. I've had it for um, almost a month now. I've gone on a number of adventures, so we're still figuring a lot of things out, but I think this is a good time that I got a good feel for it and give you all a good tour. So with that, uh, let's start with some of the exterior features. Um, so on this side, really most of what we have on the exterior is this carefree um, pop-out awning. Um, and this is honestly a pretty big saver because of uh, how hot it can be. And sometimes you find, especially with the solar, we try to park in the sun. So this creates some much needed shade. Um, it's really easy. So just with this crank right here, you can just uh, um, slide it up um, and then slide it back out. Um, and there are some legs that extend, but it stands on its own too. So pretty easy to work with. That's pretty much what's on this side. Um, so I'll walk you then through to the other side and we can see what the exterior features are there. All right, so on this side of the camper, we mostly have really functional stuff. The other side is really where we spend most of our time. Um, but as you can see, ours is not a full, fully slid into the bed. I mean, it extends about a foot and a half beyond my bed, which is actually a really nice feature because they built this skirt around, which not a lot of tribe campers have. Um, a, I just think it looks pretty nice. It allows for this ladder and easy access. It also has some storage on the outside, um, which with in a, any camping setup storage is like a big need. So most of this outside is just venting for the heating systems as well as access to the propane tank. Um, in this camper, how it's powered mainly is anything that provides heat. So the water heater, the furnace, or the stove is gonna run off propane. Um, everything else in there is gonna run off the solar system on the roof, which when we get inside to the solar controller, I'll walk you through a little bit more. Um, but yeah, most of this is functional, but the one thing out here that is one of my favorite features of this camper um, is if you'll come in here, there actually is an exterior shower. Um, and it is fully heated. And honestly, if you are pretty active like me and like to trail run, bike or climb or do anything outside hike um, and you're camping for especially a long amount of time, this is a must, I think. Uh, being able to pop out here um, and rinse off before getting into that camper and just stinking up the place uh, is crucial um, on any camping mission. So that's pretty much this side of the exterior of the camper. Um, and so now we'll walk into the interior and I can walk you through some of the features in there. Uh, welcome to my crib. We are in the interior now um, of the camper. And so the way it's kind of set up is there's like three different sections to this main room. And the first side is this dinette over here, um, which the dinette uh, comes with seating that you really can seat four around it. Three is really comfortable. Um, Turbo, who is not here right now because he's banned from the camper due to being incredibly muddy um, until he gets rinsed off, probably in the outdoor shower. But um, he loves to curl up on this and sit next to me while I work from here. Um, really comfortable, works really well. Um, right here, we have a lagoon table, which is clutch because it swivels, um, which means it can be like a workspace table. I also move it over here, over here when I'm cooking. Um, and that makes it kind of like an added counter space. And then when you're done, you just push it way out of the way um, and it's completely out of your space. Um, underneath there is also a cassette toilet down here. Um, you just pop those seats up and um, access the toilet. 
Uh, it just has a consent tank to the outside that you can just roll out like a suitcase and empty out. Um, really easy, doesn't smell. Um, actually very pleased with that. Uh, and then the next part of the room that we have is over here we have the bed. Now the bed is huge. Uh, this is a king size bed um, and I'm 6'2 and I comfortably can lay the full length of it north south. Um, so there's a ton of room. Um, it's a huge bed. I literally, this bed is nicer than my bed in my house. So that's cool. Um, and yeah, there's under bed storage as well, which is really cl clutch. And that becomes my wardrobe. Most of the time I keep under the bed and it's got a hydraulic lift and everything. And it's really great. All right. So this is really the heart of the camper, which is the kitchenette area over here. And almost all the functionality of the camper in here, other than the toilet is on this side. Um, so what you have kind of top down, we start, we just got overhead storage. Um, great. It can fit most of like the pantry usage and pots and pans and everything up there. Then we have more storage in here that we use for a lot of miscellaneous things, um, that we need in the camper. And really storage was a big thing I was worried about going to a truck bed camper because that can be one of the cons, but honestly, it's been pretty great. Um, you just have to use it right and be smart with it and you're good to go. Um, so coming across here on this side, sink, uh, the sink is great because it has this little pull out feature, um, and it can do two different spray settings and is heated, which is really awesome. So honestly, it works just as good as a, a sink in a house. Um, and the water heater slaps. I mean, it goes hard. Uh, sometimes you gotta be careful, but that's a good thing because it allows us to boil water a lot faster, um, and clean things really well. Um, so when you come down here, we have kind of the control center. Um, we have power coming through here, uh, access to the water heater, access to the water pump. Um, and then right here is the stove. And the stove is kind of set into the um, countertop, which means it is countertop when I'm not using the stove. Then you just pop it up and you got a two burner stove. Uh, really effective. This burner especially can do a simmer setting really well, which I've never had while camping. Um, so I finally don't have to have burnt food all the time. Uh, super awesome. And then as you move down, we have the solar controller. So the way the solar setup works in this camper is we have 200 watts of solar on the roof that go into uh, two six volt batteries mounted in series, um, which basically means that uh, we can power all electronics as well as the fridge um, and the fans and the lights and everything really well. Literally have used this pretty extensively. It was in Telluride for a full week last week and it rained really hard every single day. And I cannot, even if I try, uh, get this uh, battery to get below like 60%, which is pretty crazy to me. So really happy with that setup. All right, and then right here we have uh, the vanity, um, which is kind of like the third part of the bathroom that is scattered throughout this place. Um, and you just pop it up. You have access to a mirror and there's some storage underneath. I usually keep all of my toiletries in here. Um, but we're only here for one night, so they're just in a toiletries bag. Um, right now what we have is a, just a stick of bubbles to blow bubbles with. Um, I don't know how we'd survive without it, so it's here. And then one of the last big things on this side is going to be our fridge. Um, it's a Dometic fridge slash freezer, um, and it is a game changer. We keep our food in here. Uh, it stays cold during the whole trip, and there's a freezer up top. Um, the ability to have ice cream is really clutch on the road. Um, and the very last thing on this side to walk through is this switch right here is actually the landing um, legs um, for the, the pop top. Um, and so I don't have to crank or push the roof up at all. I literally push a button um, and the roof raises itself and lowers itself. Super easy, especially at the end of a long journey when you're super gassed. Um, so that can be really clutch. And that's pretty much most of uh, what's in the camper. Some other features we might not have touched on. We got some Dometic fans up here on both sides, three settings in and out, creates awesome airflow. Um, we use them a lot once again, because the solar system is so effective that we don't really need to worry about it. Oh, and I forgot to mention there is a furnace right here as well that runs off propane. Um, we did some really high elevation camping um, in Telluride when it was really rainy. So at night it got pretty cold. Uh, we turned that on a low setting and it just kept it really comfortable in here. Um, and it has like a pretty automatic system so you don't have to like fiddle with it. It doesn't like overheat, it's, it regulates itself really well. Um, so yeah, that's the interior of the camper. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, thanks for coming along on this journey with me um, and cue some cute footage of Turbo right now. <laughs>